I'm ready. Let's yeah. Do this. Why am I holding it down here? Yeah. You want me to just like, like, yeah. like here, here. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's been good. It's been really good. Am I seriously holding the mic <laughs> at my crotch right now, <laughs> girls? I'm here with Canadian pop, electro, and R&B artist Ruben Young. Hi. 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 You've had an amazing summer, releasing two major singles, a music video, opening for the Chainsmokers, Akon, and working with Classified. All correct, yes. So if that was your <laughs> summer, thank you, I do my research. Yeah, killed it. If that was your summer, I can't wait to see what winter has in store for you. Yeah, thank you, I can't wait either. It's gonna be a fun run. Now describe your latest single and your first radio single, Bad Habits. Yes, Bad Habits. So it came out in August. Um, it's sort of like a mellow, um, soul vintage like a bit of that john legend marvin gay type of yeah. vibe but actually classified producer who's one of my favorite canadian artists of all time um and yeah we released it in the summer it's had a super great run complex named it one of the uh, best canadian songs in september so it's been a, a lot of fun finally kind of getting getting music out this year and bad habits has been my favorite release so far so what goals do you have for this single oh man i have so many but i feel like the goals that I have are to push it as far as I can to as many Canadian R&B fans as possible um, and to tour it and to continue playing it and yeah. Um, what's the inside scoop on Bad Habits? The inside scoop. The inside scoop. The dirt. Yes, the dirt. Okay. You ready? I am. You sure? Yeah. Are okay. You? you guys ready? So it's a bit of a... Uh, Bad Habits is actually the title track for my upcoming EP called The Bad Habits EP. And it is a look into a story of, um, I guess, romance-ish that I went through uh, from my high school days all the way through to growing up. And it's one of those stories that I think a lot of people can relate to. It's one of those relationships and loves that is just straight up not good for you. And you know it from the jump, but you dive in because it's fun and because it is what it is, but Bad Habits is what it became. And that's why I love the song so much because there's layers to it. There's depth in the story. There's like the sad parts, but Bad Habits is the part where you just know that temptation is in front of you and you're gonna take a bite anyways. And why not? Yeah. Yeah, that's the dirt. Broke your records, babe, ain't nothing new. That's the dance we do Oh, bad habits look good on you Ooh, she's a type of drug you know you love to do But when you get too hot, she'll make a mess of you And it's a dangerous affair now, you said you uh, classified, produced this. Yes. So what was it like working with him? It was incredible. Honestly, it was incredible. He, um, I actually met him. The crazy part about Bad Habits is it's also a story of serendipity for me. I, um, I was actually out of a job. I was working for a huge international beer company. Oh. Right? Okay. I had gone through a couple months of training. And on one of my first days of actually being on the job, which went really well, I get a call from our HR department who says, listen, long story short, we found out you have too many demerits on your driver's license to work for a beer company. Seriously? So we got to let you go. This happened on a Friday. Oh. So um, my boss kind of in like consolation gave me tickets to this event. He said, go represent the company for one more night, have a blast and best of luck in your life. I'm like, okay, this sucks. I'm also going through a tough time with this girl and I'm also uh, in the dirt financially from trying to start a music festival back home. So um, I went to this party, put on a suit and who's performing but classified. And I sneak into VIP, I buy him a beer, we talk for a few, um, I tell him I'm a huge fan. He says to shoot him an email, so I do, and next thing you know, I'm at his studio in Nova Scotia making music with him. Uh, fast forward, I'm on stage with him in Calgary performing um, during the Stampede, which is obviously, being from Calgary, Huge. as good as it gets. Yes. So it was, uh, it's a crazy story, and there's, there's, again, I've gone through a lot as an artist, and I'm really proud that this song is what it is and represents what it does, because working with class, 
um, which was your question in the first place, yes. was incredible. And he was just a regular guy at the end of the day. And he gave me a chance to get in a room with him. I think we created something really, really cool. He's taught me a lot. That's awesome. It's been really cool. What would you say was the most thing you took away from that experience? Like what, what lesson or tip? Oh, there's so many. There's so many. I think you have to aim as you, when you're putting in the work as an entrepreneur or as an artist. Um, and I mean, when you're really putting in the work and you know, if you are, um, you have to set goals for yourself that exceed what you m may even think is possible for you at that time. Um, knowing that you're moving forward, you won't be in that spot for forever. You won't be in that heartbroken, broke, um, jobless spot for forever. You have to continue to push through. I say that's the biggest is because people ask me all the time, how did I get in a room with classified? But it's, it wasn't rocket science. It was just aiming for what I think I can actually achieve. And I think a lot of people would go a lot further if they thought the same way. Yeah. Well, and everything happens for a reason, clearly. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and I have one last question for you. Cool. So I always ask, like asking really random out there questions. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. So you're ready? Uh oh. I'm okay. ready. All right. So you drink, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Right answer. Is that? Is that? No, is no, that no, 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 no. <laughs> There's part two to, to this question. So if you were a bottle of liquor, what liquor would you be and why? Dang, that is big. That's tough. I would probably say. I'm going to go with something that I haven't seen before. Okay. That I know I would like. Okay. I'm going to go with, I would be melon, I'd be honeydew melon vodka. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, why? Yeah, I haven't seen it before. I love honeydew melon. Everyone loves honeydew melon. It's in every yeah. fruit basket ever. And uh, I think if you put a little seven up on that, Oh, that would be really good. You could drink, like, a lot of them. That would be really good. You could for good. sure drink a few. Yeah, I don't know. You on just the came spot. up with that on the spot. On the spot. Patent that. Wow. It's over. Another talent here. Might have to call Diddy, make it a Ciroc. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. It was lovely chatting with you. Likewise. Thank you so much. Congratulations again on Bad Habits. And when can we look forward to the EP? The EP and more music is coming in the new year. That's okay. all I got for you for now. Okay. Yeah, all right. but soon. Well, we'll be checking it out, and we all can't wait to see what stellar 2018 year you're going to have. Thank you so much. I'd like to give a big shout-out to Strat Entertainment for facilitating this interview. Won't leave me alone, won't leave me alone.